So I came to an epiphany the other day. I would consider myself like a really good meal planner. That's probably my superhuman skill. Like if I went on one of those late night TV shows and had to do a talent, it would be meal planning. But for some reason, my process every week is this. Uh, what do we like to eat again? Uh, Lenny, what do you like to eat again? And then I have to start from scratch every week. Then I forget about stuff that we really, really love. So a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, huh, you know what would make this a lot easier? If I wrote down the things that we really, really love to eat so that I don't have to start from scratch. Now, I still wanna try new things every week. I still wanna mix it up. I don't wanna eat the same five things. I'm not the kind of person that's like Monday, taco night, Tuesday, pasta night. I do understand why that works for some people. It does not for me. I'm a variety type of gal. The thing that I've found now that has worked the absolute best for us is to write down the 20 things that we absolutely love, that are fail safe, that I like, Lenny likes, and most of which the baby likes too, so that I don't have to think about five new meals every week. So I make three or four of the ones for my list, and then I try one or two new ones every week. That way I know what to get at the grocery store, I know what to stock in my pantry, and I have a list that I can reference whenever I need. So here's my list. I'll probably make it more official sometime soon, but right now it's on this really trendy, post-it note and it has all my favorites on it so I don't have to think about it. So it's really been helping me to just look at this note, figure it out. I posted that I had done this on our Instagram account and half the comments were like, you're a genius. And the other half were like, duh, I've been doing that for years. So I don't feel that stupid about it, I guess, if 50% of people were with me on thinking that it was a new and clever idea. But the people that said that they have been doing it for a long time, told me the methods that they do to do it. And they range from, yeah, I keep a notebook in my glove compartment so that if I think about it, that's something that I'll look at on the way to the grocery store. I had a lady say she has a spreadsheet. She self-proclaimed herself as a nerd, said she has a spreadsheet with ingredients and then based on like what she has in her fridge, she can click on the tab and that's a bit far for my liking, but there's so many good ways to keep yourself organized with this, but duh, the first thing you should do is just write down the things you eat and that you like. If that seems like a novel idea to you, you should subscribe to our channel because we come up with random novel ideas all the time. Um, and if you like this one, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next. Soup, falafel, jackfruit, mm, Mexican salad, chorizo soup, sweet potato tacos, uh, California quinoa, Thai squash soup, pesto, zoodles, arrabbiata pasta, spring rolls, beet salad, beet bowls. I forget about beet bowls all the time. Then I get really excited when I remember that. Now they're on the list. I also wrote down quick, easy meals for when I didn't plan something. Like we make quesadillas with so delicious shredded cheese. And I forget that we can make quesadillas all the time. Uh, we have this corn soup that we get in a carton from Trader Joe's. Throw a scoop of quinoa in it. Now I've got lunch, that kind of stuff. I forget that I can do and it's easy. And if I have the stuff on hand to do it, then it's a quick lunch. Caesar salad. That's it. Delicious foods. <laughs> I guess Chrissy Teigen's like three-year-old wasn't eating. And so she made her like a, but she would eat at restaurants. So she made her like a laminated menu of dinner options and she'll like choose and pay for it. And now she eats all of her food every night. It's genius. You wouldn't think Chrissy Teigen would be a genius parent, but she is.